Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, and welcome back to Crosswords Live. I'm here today with my solving colleague, Sam Azursky. Good afternoon, Sam. Hey there, Deb. It's good to be back as always. Absolutely. Did you survive the storm? Uh, just barely, but we're doing okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, good. We're here. We're here. That's what counts. We showed up. And not only did we show up, but we have a very special guest today. Uh, we are thrilled to welcome uh, our guest musician and podcaster, Rishikesh Herway. Good afternoon, Rishi. Hi. Thanks so much for having me. We're, we're happy to have you here today. It's always nice uh, to have a fellow solver with us. Are you, have you been solving for the New York Times crossword for a long time? Yeah, I mean, I used to solve Sunday with my sister since we were kids. And then um, about five years ago, I think I got the app. I think it was the first app subscription that I ever paid for. Uh, I got it for myself for my birthday. And then, since, like and then I fell into the hole of that and never emerged. <laughs> and so now, I, now I do it every day. Well, welcome, welcome. Hopefully, hopefully you're, you're here in the hole with us, you know, <laughs> so it's, exactly. it's a party down here and we're happy to have you. It's a truly bottomless pit too. Yeah. Really, it's, it's yeah. Never, I'm just going to dig deeper and deeper into it. <laughs> yep. Well, today we have a really, really terrific puzzle. I, I got a very big kick out of this, not only because it happens to be a big puzzle, a good puzzle, but the person who, uh, one of the people who made it is returning after, if you can believe this, a 23 year hiatus from making crossword puzzles for the New York Times. Wow. He had his debut 23 years ago, and he is back today. So we'd like to welcome back Derek a Allen, not Allen, <laughs> Derek Allen, <laughs> to the New York Times roster. And he was ably assisted by Jeff Chen, who was a very frequent contributor to the New York Times. So we have a really nice um, collaboration, Double Trouble, which is a hint to what hmm. we're about to find oh. out about. In the puzzle. Good. I know. I'm sorry. It's bad. It's a, it's a dad joke. We have two other hints already in this puzzle, Dad. We, we do. Know. We do. Um, so this is uh, an interesting puzzle, depending on the format you are solving in. And what we're looking at on our screen right now is uh, the web version. So if you go to nytimes.com and you go to the crosswords uh, on your uh, desktop computer, this is what you will see. I believe this is what you will see also if you're solving in the app. Is that correct, Sam? You got it. Same All as right. the web and the app, generally always. Generally and always. Yeah. Until we break. Absolutely. And what I liked about this is not just the theme, but the fact that there's a little surprise at the end. Oh. Right? No, Sam, Sam's going all innocent on me. Okay. Well, I, I was, yeah, I, I, my, my lips are sealed. I actually, I just wanted to, before we dive in, I wanted to pick Rishi's brain for a bit about when you, you know, how do you, you were telling us before the stream, how do you feel about Thursday crosswords in general? You know, is it, you, you, you were saying this is harder than a Saturday sometimes, which I actually have to agree with. I mean, sometimes the tricks can be so tough. So yeah. is, do you like these versus themelesses? Is it nice variety or? I, I have to say Thursday is my favorite, even if it is the most difficult. I knew I knew we had something in common, Rishi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely my favorite day too. I think I think of the Thursdays as being sort of like uh, if you have to go for a run or something like that. And maybe the distance is longer or you have to go faster, but then Thursday is like an obstacle course and you have to use your brain in all kinds of new ways. And I, I love that, that, that every one of the Thursday puzzles makes you have to fire on some new cylinder. We might have to take that and use that for a quote somewhere because Absolutely. I, I really, that just about sums it up in my, I don't think every Thursday has to be crazy, crazy, tricky overload. No. But I think the, the variety in these gimmicks or puns or lack thereof is, you know, sets the tone for what kind of run you're going on, I guess, as you say. <laughs> and I think this had quite a bit of, 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 of all of that. By the way, Derek Allen is here, one of the constructors. Hey, what's so up, Derek? greetings to you, Derek. Come and, and you know, what, tell us what it feels like to watch the entire internet solve your crossword. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time. A little more pressure on to me. Right, no pressure at all. <laughs> yeah. But 
really no pressure because this is yeah. just meant to be some fun, interactive solve. Commenters, I'm sure, are joining us. You know, please put your answers in Periscope or in, in the Twitter okay. app as you see fit. And um, yeah, Trisha, where do you, Trisha, where do you normally get started in the Thursday crossword? Is it like a clue that catches your eye? Is it just in the top left of the grid? How do you navigate through these things usually? I I always start uh, with one across. I feel like it's just a. Uh... It's not the most pleasant place to start, but it just, you know, start at the beginning. It's a logical place to start. Yeah. A any inspiration striking you here right now with K follower? Okay, it's so not K follower. <laughs> That's K follower. Yeah. Um, K could be potassium. It could. Um, so K follower could be, no, potassium chloride. Chloride wouldn't really make sense as, a, as four letters. Uh, what is after potassium in this? Calcium. Calcium? So that, that's only going to yield us CA. I, I'm still right. amazed that's that you knew that, that, Sam. What's that? <laughs> I'm amazed that you knew that. Elements 19 and 20. Uh, we, had, we, had, we had some dark days before working on crossroads. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, calcium, I would, you know, C-A-L-C doesn't make sense because potassium is abbreviated as just K, so it would be C-A. Right. Exactly, exactly. Uh, you know the tricks of the well, trade that come with you, I, might, I might skip this one for now. That's okay. What, you know, how would you feel about maybe checking the downs there to see? Oh, sure. Okay, yes. yes. Do we know our um, sound of a blown kiss? Blown kiss is moi. There you uh, go. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. We're off to the races. Okay. Okay, so it's an M. Huh. Huh. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. There's one with a title. One with there, a title. I like this one. Hoarders one Network. Title. Oh, Hoarders Network is not Bravo. No. Five letters. Hoarders Network could be. This one's weird Matt to enter. Geo's, uh, Hoarders is. That, is it that was a, hard a, one. a and E? It is Very A good. and E. Okay. Generally, we'll see it written out with a, an ampersand, but, you yeah. know. For the sake of the crossword. For the mm. sake of the crossword. All done for the sake of the crossword. Do we know mm. our cliff bar cliff bit? Cliff bar bit is oat. That is oat. Very nice. So that gives us... Okay, so this is one with a title is not a royal person, but uh, an owner. It is Very an good. owner with a title. Where did you go? Let's see. Author of Interview with the Vampire. I knew this. Uh, that one's Anne Rice. That is good. Anne Rice. Good nice Just... work. Gets us some good real estate. Okay. K, wait, so can we go back to K? Yes. Oh, is it K marked? Yes, it is. Mart. Nice oh, work. That's the Thursday trick. I was totally uh, on the wrong track. But that's okay. That's what Thursday is about. And Billy Haas okay. said, one, idea, one across is always a great idea, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> Hesitant to act? Uh. <laughs> Trepid? Trepid? Yes. Trepid. Nice if you can word. be intrepid, why can't Is that a real word? I, I, mean, it is I use it less than intrepid. It's one of those, like, yeah. I only I only hear intrepid. Yeah. I've yeah. got to be smart. <laughs> Here we go. Political okay. party founded in 1966. Hmm. So got a the, and there's a shaded there's, square right uh, there. Okay. Oh. Let me get some more info here before we uh for sure. Get There's into also the this old glory. <laughs> old red, glory. Red, shaded. white, and blue. Red uh <clears throat> well red. Well, yeah. that's not gonna work, Sam. <laughs> surprise, We're surprise. It didn't work. Yeah. Uh, uh Okay, let's come back I'm sorry. to it. Yeah. Where Something's happening. Something's happening in that square. So, something interesting is happening. Mitchell Jouer says it's his first live wordplay. Welcome, Mitchell. Welcome, welcome. Thanks and for Derek, joining us. Derek says watching this thing being solved is very surreal. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it is. Derek, it's a great puzzle. It is. This one is a crazy one. I'd never heard this before. This was my Today I Learned also. <laughs> I had to look this up. I love learning new things in puzzles, but wow. yes, especially this one, and I can explain it if you're not sure why it is called this. I don't know this one. Mail room stamp abbreviation in the clue means abbreviation in the answer. Yep. Mail Maybe room the stamp enclosure E N C L. Let's try that. I like that. Enclosed. Yeah. Then let's see. So blank Wiseman. Oh no, correct? that's Len Len Wiseman. That Len Wiseman. Yeah. Good in showing that you always check your crossers, mm. but yes, yeah. that was perfectly cromulent. Okay. <laughs> we always say cromulent on these. Yeah, that's it's, it's a thing. 
Got Has Kamiya got... been in a crossword before? No, but it should be. It it's really should be. It's kind of a long answer for a daily crossword. I'd, I'd use oh. it in a themeless. It's, it's, it's lively. It's bouncy. Sam, let me know if you wanna if you ever want to collab on a on a crossword that has cromulent and embiggen in it. Oh, yeah, I use embiggen in the column all the time. <laughs> I had to really lobby for that with the coffee only, tests, but only they if we do. could also put what's it, a calculia in the puzzle <laughs> or whatever you guys found in spelling. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, what are, did you see the? The metonymy uh, notes. Yes. You yes. On about Sam, the... I've I've taken. So, sorry to sorry that Sam, I have to admit this over Twitter. I've taken a Twitter hiatus this yes, week. Yes. Oh, okay. so I missed the well, metonymy kerfuffle. I get to take take advantage of my captive audience here and say, yeah, we had metonym in the spelling bee the other day, but metonymy was not in there. Yeah. Right. Right. Honestly, honestly, that's a whiff on my part. That okay. was so many. You know there are times when you know. You'll see, like, like I allow antonym, for instance. Yeah. But do you say antonymy in the same way that you would say antonym? So I did a bit of reading and wondered if metonymy sort of had that same effect. But clearly, solvers felt the other way. Like, well, if you yeah. have metonym, you got to have metonymy. So yeah, metonymy different. has the primacy, I think. Yeah. I think I guess, metonymy I and synecdoche. And then later, I like I go, oh, yeah, the, an example of it would be a metonym. <laughs> Trishy, Kathy Odahan is here, and she hmm. said she has 30 across if you'd like some help. 30 across. Okay, yes, sounds good. What, is, what okay. do we have? She says it's R-E-C-D for receive. For receive. Ah, the days of the mailroom. Right. right. <laughs> okay. Compadre. Okay, so that must be bro. That is bro. Good. Uh, but David Bevan says he's a recent convert to NYT Wordplay from the UK, now watching it like it's a mm. sport, and he's falling <laughs> hard. You know, that makes us feel so good, Devin. Thank you. Uh, David, I'm sorry. It makes me feel like an athlete. It really does. Or it makes me feel like, you know, I'm kind of on the Ocho, so oh, to speak. You know? This should be, a, the ACPT should be on ESPN, the Ocho. But I think as so. Rishi pointed out, we are, after all, just going on some sort of run doing this Thursday puzzle. So, oh, yeah. Okay. I, I have some answers here now. Okay. Go ahead. Us. Yeah. Okay. So, BLI blank D has to be an N in there. Yes. And we were talking about red, white, and blue. So that has to be an A above that. Uh-huh. So there's something with the white there and okay. then blue there, right? And Because that's one BC on 34 across. The, so before, before. What do we do, Rishi, wow. if we know that white must be entered in the single square? So we have to do a oh, rebus there, right? A, a, a what? Good. Did no. <laughs> I, I don't know. I did. What did he call that? It's the, the rebus. That's a rebus. What is a rebus? Okay. So a rebus is when, and this is a perfectly cromulent thing to do. Excellent. Um, when you need to fit more than one letter in a square. A rebus can be a symbol, it can be a number, it can be pretty much anything, but for the most part, when you see it in a New York Times crossword, it's going to be more than one letter, sometimes an entire word that has to fit in the single square. And if you're solving in print, obviously you're just gonna write really, really <laughs> right. tiny. Size four font. <laughs> right. But if you're solving online or in our app, you're going to hit that rebus button up at the right that Sam is circling right now. And um, that, if you click that rebus button. Click. Click. Look at it that. It opens Little up. Awesome. You? A separate square that you can type more than one letter in. And Mitchell uh, Jouer says, Rebuses get him every time. You know what? <laughs> Me too. I was uh, Rebus blind for a very long time. <laughs> and the trick is to practice. And, so you know, I just typed in white right there in that field. And yeah. then all you've got to do is hit the enter key and boom. Oh, look at that. Jeez, that so it's red white and blue now what we have to figure out here rishi is what kind of political party was founded in 1966 that might be the white hmm. <laughs> okay let's let's go off the let's go off 20 down then okay prime cuts and t-bones brand i like when you can infer a brand from yes something like this so it might take a letter or two okay as let's a dog owner, i knew <laughs> this one What's that? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, that one, 31 across, I know. What do you got? That should be otra. 
That is otra vez. Nice to know okay. a little bit of Spanish doing these because answers like this will crop up again and again. So then we've uh, got. Is it bad if I jump jump ahead? I just saw one. No, no do it. What do we have? Thirty-six across is Erp. Is Erp? There you go. West? No, jump. It's your puzzle. Around. You no, do it your no, way. No, no, okay. Okay. Thirty-eight across. I see is praise be to Allah. Is Allah nice one? People are starting to get the trick here. Uh, Mitchell oh, yeah. Fair says that it's not the white at, um, sorry, 19 across. Um, but in fact, it's the Black Panthers. Oh, oh wait. Huh. I mean, okay. That's How not could it be both? Yeah. Okay, see, it's I was party. thinking it was a suffrage, like a women's suffragette party. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's any political. Well, I, I wait. Won't... And so the square is gray. Is it that yeah. it's black and white mixed? It's Maybe. Like black well, and red what do we have blue? here? A thirty-two down. It's an <laughs> ambiguity. Ambiguity or a hint of the uh, gray area. Gray area. Right. Well, Judy Patel uh -huh. says. Yep. Judy Patel says that twenty down is Alpo. Is Alpo? Alpo. Maybe that'll yeah. help. Thank oh. you, Judy. Okay, so that's rails on the 23 across. Rails. And yeah. blind pig is a Exactly, speaking? right? Yes. Isn't that, isn't that great? Now, <laughs> now, raise your hands if you know why. Speak. First of all, I, I, do you guys know what a speakeasy is or was? Well, the, the first example of a speakeasy that I was ever introduced to was a place called Varnish um, in, in downtown LA that's like behind a secret door. <laughs> Yeah, and the restaurant Coles, which is supposed to be the place where the French dip sandwich was invented. And, oh, okay. Uh, you go in, and you don't. You, you you know the only indication that there's something there is there's a person at a podium. You sort of like buy a blank wall, and then you you go in. You say the secret open the, code word. Yeah, and the wall <laughs> opens up, and there's a little very fancy little uh, chic bar behind it. Okay, so I I looked this up and I'm gonna tell you the story of how speakeasies came to be called blind pig. Story time. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Okay, everybody comfy. Um a speakeasy, yes, is or was in the 1920s when uh, prohibition occurred and alcohol, the selling of alcohol in public establishments was outlawed, um were hidden bars or restaurants or just establishments where you could go and get a drink and um they earned the name blind pig because they weren't allowed to charge people for getting their booze on so what they would do is they would advertise that they were selling tickets for you to see some sort of a phenomenon like a block come see the blind pig and they would throw in a complimentary gin and tonic. <laughs> so they would sort that was sort of a work around the prohibition laws. You they were not selling alcohol, they were selling tickets to see the blind pig, and you just happened to get a free drink with it. <laughs> Which I, like I think is a fabulous story. I like seeing answers like this in a crossword. It's, yeah. it's, it's it's a fresh phrase that I've never seen in another crossword before. Us on the editing side, we had no idea what this was. Quite I'm going to be telling this but, story uh, at all of my Zoom cocktail parties from now on. <laughs> I'm, I'll be attending for the, the advertised blind pick. Mm -hmm. um, people are saying the 21 down is Salma, as in Salma Hayek. Hayek? Sure. Nice seeing those gimmies on a Thursday. Yeah, uh, the boys you wanted me to watch uh, to jump to one that catches my eyes 14 down, but we can go anywhere. 14 down, uh, muggle. Oh, fan site, yeah, there you go. On, I, had, cool too. I had website at first, and that was wrong. And it wasn't until I started getting more of the puzzle that I realized it was more than just a website, it was a fan site. I was wait, more of a Pottermore person myself. <laughs> what the is wait, am I? I might be misremembering my. Harry Potter stuff here, but four, 14 across. Purloin? Was Purloin. Mm -hmm. I so love this. That word. would have to be Filch, right? Yes. You are Isn't Filch remember. the name of the janitor at Nice Hogwarts? little Easter egg. Got it. Nice little Easter egg. <laughs> Crossing fan site, huh? That wow. is... But they didn't even clue it that way. <laughs> That's pretty smart. 
it just it is very smart and it's great of you to notice i think that it's um one of those things that the editors sometimes and the constructor constructors sorry may leave you to see for yourself because again yeah. you know the puzzle is what you make of it what's so interesting though is also speaking as a constructor is that i would bet and derek if you're still with us please correct me if i'm wrong I would bet that this was serendipitous. Sometimes really? this just happens and you just don't even notice it until <laughs> someone points it out in the column and really? says, hey, that's so funny that you're wow. I don't know. Derek, fill me in. I just know I've had it at my own grades before. Yeah. Um, well, Derek says he's never heard of Blind Pig either. But it's in his book. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but uh, no, I really, if I, I would love to, an answer on whether or not the fan site clue with uh muggle muggle net and the muggle related filch if those are at all intentional yeah derek if, if you can uh let us know if that was deliberate or not please i we love learning these things yeah uh okay, Judy, that one's alice that one's alice Color nice perfect. work very good very good we have a couple of answers coming in oh, okay. uh Giordano agrees on fan site. judy patel uh says that 50 across if you want to hop down there Ooh. Oh, have it's any Armenian. Armenian for the whoop. Good. Armenian for the Anonymous country. says 37 down is partner. Significant other is partner. Good. Out of way. Uh, this was a, a piece of trivia I didn't know too. Eight down, Bruce Giordano says is thermos. It lost its trademark status. How do you lose your trademark status? I guess it's, it, it's become so it generous. Maybe. I don't know. I And it's funny because it really is uh, an eponym, if you think about it. Do you really call other branded flasks anything other than the thermos? Right. More importantly, should I allow eponymy in spelling bee if I allow eponym? <laughs> <laughs> Derek says well. that uh, it was ext the filch and fans, I think, was extremely serendipitous. <laughs> and uh, the clues, I'm sure, are all will. <laughs> it's almost like it was magic. It's almost as if it was meant to happen. Yeah. Uh, Nicole nice says nice that Thermos just didn't renew their um, their uh, trademark. That's okay. interesting. Today I learned. Yeah. <laughs> where else was on? Okay. Well, let's see. You got to get me. I, I think on 33 across. Yep. I saw it says t shirt t shirt choices. So that should be just SMS, S smalls. Weirdly, yeah. I do not endorse this answer by any means. It is oh, yeah, that's not product. one. It is SML for small, medium, large. Right, but you know what? You That was a perfectly oh. promulent answer, Rishi, because um, it is huh. a plural clue, so I can understand why you would think it might have been smalls, SML. Right. Oh, I see, SML. I'm, I'm sure Derek and Jeff didn't go out of their way to put this in the grid either. There's just, you know, there's just always that little bit of glue that comes with hiding, you know, Thermos and Salma and this theme answer here. Also, it's a very wide open puzzle. So you're bound to have yeah. a clue three or two huh. like that, but that is a-okay. That's just Brett, like bad luck of small having the same consonants as small, medium. Oh, large. right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured it, it would have been better for me to just give that one away yeah, than yeah, have no, you I fall would not for a trap that like that. That would have yeah. left a bad taste. Right? Okay. <laughs> um, uh, what's this? Me? I'm uh, sorry. Seven down? Seven um, down. Get into. Oh, um, accept? That's very close. That's very close. Oh, oh, get into. Get into. Right, no, no. It's that funny that they're so into. related, right? You've got yeah, the first so letter. Get into. Get into. Let me look at 24 across. Okay. Devil dog. Oh, this was a tough uh, one, man. Tough to parse, actually. Okay, well, let's see. Six across, I can see, is uh, Elihu. Elihu. Very good. And then run for uh, it, crossing what a foul mouth <laughs> full of two ridiculous clues, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> These are both puns. These are both run. puns. Yeah. We're looking for the Owl it mouth. in this clue. So I can only think of the word silt for blank ILT. That's so run, good. Oh, run for seat and yes. foul mouth like a delta. Yeah, like the mouth. Oh, the Nice. How about it? We oh, love our okay. Parents, right? A couple of people are would like to help you with seven down. Seven down. Okay, I see it. Access. Good. Access. Wow. Nice Good work. Job. And thank you, you to the people who put their guesses in. Yeah. See, save me from putting in accept and getting. <laughs> no worries. Okay. This is a, okay. 
we're all 100 percent of the crossword clues you don't get right that's right <laughs> uh okay so that's so long that's so long so then 24 is that u.s marine it is it u.s is. marine crazy you almost wanted to add a for short there on the editing side but we decided it was thursday enough for mm. right i did not know that that was a nickname for Neither the movie did I. Mm -hmm. all i can think of is the dessert oh, yeah. <laughs> there's no capital <laughs> and drug there uh okay this one is gaming that is the gaming industry very good now another shaded square in this oh where was the shaded square at the top in the top of the left so this okay. outer space phenomenon photographed for the first time in 2019. Let's look at the other one for a second. Crossing here. ingredients ingredient separated. Okay, in well that's eggs. Oh no, ingredient. So okay, and it's okay. So uh, egg white. Egg, egg white. Exactly. White. So I'm gonna click that rebus button again. Uh huh. Oh wait, but in our rebus here, we don't have black represented for Black Panthers. So what can we do really about it? However, we want to write it. We could write, you know, white slash black here. Oh, uh, okay, Hard but you don't see. change it to gray. And I think that that we change it to gray, actually. Well, we could, but here's here's the thing, and I think this is important for people who are not familiar with rebuses or how they should be entered to understand. When uh, the crossword is a rebus, uh, in the programming, usually uh, they allow a couple of different kinds of answers because everybody an enters things differently. As long as if it's I did my job. answer, it's accepted. Right. So you can write in black slash white. You can write in white. You can write in mm. black. You can write in white slash black. You can write in gray. You can write in B slash W. As long as the answer is correct, some semblance of the answer for the most part will be right. And I did list them out in today's wordplay column if anyone needs to look at that. Okay. Yeah. I like I like going across slash down. So maybe we can make it All right. white, slash, white black. slash black. Here, even easier. I also accepted this. Tell me if this is confusing. I did that, that is confusing. as well. That is confusing. No, let's, confusing do, let's do let's do white <laughs> slash black. Fair enough. Okay. So time. I think the secret here is to remember that going across, the answer will be white. Oops. Going down, the answer will be black. So it's a double rebus. A bi-directional right, but not, point. but here, not, not necessarily, because there, are Black Panthers is across, and this is egg white. Black okay, so went for that one, sorry. black white went down. Right. Okay. Huh. So black. Okay, so egg. Go down. So oh, black hole. There we go. There go. Okay. Nice one. So it's one in one direction. It's going to be white, and in one direction, it's going to be black because together they intersect and, and make, make very gray. punny right. shaded squares. Right. Nice going, Derek. A gray. Area. That's great. I love it. I'll be uh, right. Okay, fifteen we're across. Gonna, is... We're going to show you the trick afterward. We're going to show yeah. you something really neat. Thank oh. you to our developers for this. Um, that's Trevor Noah. So uh, Trevor yeah. Noah, right? Great book, um, by the way. Major Domo. Major Domo. Look at you go. Oh, it's nothing. Ugh. I so, love this. So nil. That yes, nil. You and could bring go, go, go on in. I was reading yeah. that wrong. I, I wasn't nice. looking at the clue, and I just saw Goon In. Goon In. <laughs> Goon In. I'll be right back. I, I always loved Miss Parsing things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. Like us, Marine. Um. Judy Patel would like us to know that 48 down is Hope So. Where wow. is this? Oh, wow. 48 down. 48 down. Fingers okay. crossed is Hope So. Jumping around to That's another area. Okay. I see underneath that is Cirque du Soleil. The Cirque du Soleil. We love yep. the gimmies like that, even on a third. Absolutely. Right? Do all those first. Mm -hmm. How about this? Here's a groaner if you want to chew on it. The letters might help us. Sole proprietorship with a question. Except that there's that question mark there. So is the sole proprietorship is when one person owns a business. And sole proprietorship sounds like it's almost from the Department of Redundancy Department. So... <laughs> I would think that that means something other than one person. I have an idea, but I just want to, I want to uh, corroborate for some nouns. Sure. Uh, what's 47 down? 47 oh, down. Oh, Jean uh, the largest. Uh, Jean Shallot. Yes, very good. Great. Goodness. Okay. Okay. Is it shoe shop? It is shoe it shop. It is. Nice very word. good. Some people <laughs> thought that soul meant fish shop, but then they realized it was shop. That would be a good the OE, the OE, we, the fact that we have yeah, the OE. Exactly. 
So okay. a little downtime, blank nap. AP is a nap. Nothing Coles. better than a nap. And arena de football. Olays. Very good. Nice Olays. to hide Stand the by. plural there. Sage. Sage. Eddie agrees with Shallot. Wise. Wise. Nice where you're just knocking out the acrosses, and then here's That's another right. okay, square so here. Snow White. So Snow, Snow White. White. Crossing oh. here. I'll write that. Many a road. country okay. road. Black. Blacktop. All right, blacktop. Yeah. And that's the month the when Oktoberfest starts in September. Yeah, that's, that that kind of throws you off, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrating October in advance, I guess. Yeah. Um. So you got to start with Oktoberfest Eve. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> or as we call it here in the Bronx, era of October. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's, the, the, this is the pregame before October. <laughs> right. Um. Is allowed to quaintly. The majority of words are monosyllabic. Okay, this so that's Lao. That is exactly. Lao. Right. We see that a lot in crosswords. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now here, check out 43 down. Pushes up to the thought. Pushes to the thought. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's Othello. That is Othello. Right. Oh, nice Full colored that. pieces are apt for this puzzle's theme. So that's shunts. That is shunts. Mm -hmm. And then allowed to quaintly canst. Can can Very good. Very good. Cool. Thou solve this puzzle. Yes. <laughs> You've never looked Apparently. better. You've never looked we better. Have, uh, we oh, have. Oh, a shaded square. Okay, huh? so that's going to be a white. Oh, a white lie? A white lie? <laughs> it is going Tell to be a white lie. Telling a white, white lie. Telling a white, 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 white lie. I love hearing how you piece that one together. That's a great, you know, sometimes that's all it takes with these longer answers. Nice work. Great. Right. Okay, so let's do the 25 down and see if we can get that the black. All right. So that right. uh, might provide prevent an overload of the power grid, um, a rolling blackout. That is a Jared rolling Jeff. blackout. Also, Derek, Jeff, these are such fun phrases. The black so they really are. are. Red, Phil, white, and blue. Phil is fantastic. Telling a white lie crossing, awesome. rolling blackout, egg white crossing, black hole, and snow white cr snow white crossing, black top. We're almost <laughs> done. Grisha, you're crushing. That's great. Honestly. Okay, so Krishna Prasad has uh, realized something that I probably didn't realize, and I apologize for that. White is used across in the top part of the puzzle, but down in the bottom part. You know what? I think the, the it's left down. side and the white side. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, we'll, 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 we'll move along. Um, the, <laughs> the woman's name that means violet crosses carrier to tokyo that's a n a that's a that's a pregnant. that is a cross right, that's one very that's good crossword uh yes exactly you pick up on this as they appear over and over again and chick magnet is a great all right you know that's kind of a cringy phrase anyway sure <laughs> yeah you're not wrong yeah uh, okay let's reporter back to that well uh let's do 51 passes passes so plural and or verb tense in this way yeah, in the clue probably in yields yes. a okay. right. right. Um, religious figures, saints, S T. Very good. E S. S and we've got an abbreviation one. in the clue, so an abbreviation in the answer. Got it. And that's um, the abbreviation for French. Mm -hmm. Passes. We've got passes. goddess often. Okay, how about fifty-four across? They Let's do it. You, they might help you get a grip. Get a grip. Tongs. Oh, Tongs. Very good. Nice work. There are lots of twisty Thursday ones in this puzzle. Fun answers uh, okay, to give so, good clues too. Derek Allen says kudos to Jeff for some of these. Yes, yes, absolutely. Kudos to Jeff. He's got a great if you're interested in, in uh constructing, by the way, Jeff Chen of Expert Info has a terrific word list, uh, which I think there might be a free version, but you're much better off purchasing the full version of it and porting it into whatever constructing software you use. I've I've done it. I know a lot of solvers who have done it. Uh, I'm sorry, constructors who have done it and uh it's highly recommended awesome let's see i've just got this one letter here highlighted okay. i figure you could fill That's that in pass. yep yays and yays smog and i like that air apparent if air is apparent it's definitely going to be <laughs> smog <laughs> you're in la rishi right <laughs> anything to say about it's that very apparent okay <laughs> uh where to rishi um Let's see. Okay, so let's go back to 51 across now. 50. I mean, 51 down. down. Passes. Um, passes. So that could be enacts. That is very good. Nice Excellent. work. 
passes a law. I got it. Okay. Yep. Okay. And so 66 across. Where in Ocean Rome would you be? Is that right? No, Rolling Black yep. is right. So it's Rolling not Black is right. Yes. Yep. Not Togas. Not togas. <laughs> Thank goodness nope. you, you there, right? Okay. Let's move on for a second. Um, Could it be just two? Do... I don't know. <laughs> uh, what's 59 down? That should be 59 down. And so, okay, that's etc. Etc. Will the C be enough? Uh, tunic. It is tunic. very good. Nice very work. Ancient Roman thing. Yeah, I guess to the crossword. Under the toga, maybe. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Fifty-eight. That's Isis. Is Isis? And then okay. here you go. Here's a ground. So DC uh, is not Washington DC. It's DC no. Comics, and that's Lois Lane. Exactly. Lois Lane. Nice that's work. Great. In time, people yeah. aren't going to realize this, but they might if if they realize that it's missing. Usually, DC, meaning District of Columbia, would have periods after it. Ah. Uh, sure. So, if you know how to read the clues, which is really what solving is all about, is understanding what the clues are asking of you. Mm -hmm. It, no. it becomes a little more apparent as to what it that it doesn't mean a reporter out of uh, Washington D.C. It's a D.C. comics reporter. Now that is not to say you didn't know how to read this clue, though. That is probably the most <laughs> yeah. the, the the wickedest, most wicked. It is very book wicked. In the book that we it really can, is the subtlest <laughs> thing in the book. Billy Ha says, "I'm sure there was a Roman or two going around in a tutu." <laughs> okay, <laughs> tutus for sixty six. <laughs> Woman's name that means violet. Is going to be Ioni? Is that a Ione? lot of people? A lot of people didn't know that. I didn't know that. And purple. I didn't know favorite. that either. I only know that 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 name because of um, because of my John love of John Cusack. And oh okay. yeah. And then okay. Ion Sky frequently showing up in crosswords. So time off. We got three across clues left and two down clues. That's it. Time off. Time and when, when you're it. finished, we're going to oh, we're going to close the puzzle and reopen it, and you're going to see something really neat. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, uh, sixty-two across is leave for is time leave. off. Leave. Nice work. Yes, Bob Hershey agrees with that. Um. Okay. And what was fifty-three down? Uh, starter course, course with a question mark. Starter course. Derek is going rogue and says he would have clued both 46 across and 40 down much differently. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. okay. So that's Olay. Olay. It's, it's, yeah. oh, you were close with okay, but you know, we needed the K follower there. We needed the. Right. Um, then the hard wow. hit in baseball uh, lingo. It, it, oh, 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 plan A. Oh, because of the plan question mark. A? Plan A. We can have, can yeah, we so, have a plan A? I know we have a plan B, but. I often <laughs> resort to like plan C or lower. Oh, okay. Plan A never yeah. works out for me. All right, we're going to throw in this. We're going to throw in this last letter, but hang out, guys, because I want to show you what happens after this. No, anyway. We've been putting black and white in each of those four gray squares. Go ahead, uh, Rishi. Okay. Okay, and so the last one will be an E for liner. Liner and Judith Ivy. And look at this. You solved a Thursday <laughs> crossword puzzle, but check this out. Look at the gray squares now. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. I'll say gray. Yeah. Major thing. Major thing, major shout out to our developers and our designers who made the overlay for this. I think that's terrific. That's a little that bit could, of crossword. It actually wasn't an overlay. Oh, it wasn't? <laughs> This was my programming. This was so Look, we could show well, Gray as the default answer when we were done. Wow. Shout out to you then, Sam. And so Sam, if we had put in Gray to begin with and yeah. not black slash white, would it also would it yep. have worked? We allowed that's just part of we allowed a ton <laughs> of ant we allowed gray, we allowed B slash W, we allowed W slash B, black slash white, white slash black. It's just so you know, we don't want to make it so that you have to read our mind with these how to enter a bi-directional rebus, but it well, felt like to have this as the default when it's done. Yeah, it cuts down on frustration for the solvers because you know, we have so many people solving the puzzle that I it's you know, the odds of someone entering it the same way as someone else are very, very low. So we allow for uh, a lot of different answers as long as they're correct. Yeah. Cromulent, at least. I've, yeah. I've definitely gotten really uh, frustrated by by trying to figure out if I've yeah. gotten the rebus right. You okay. know, like, well, I'll finish the puzzle, but it'll be like, hmm, something's, you know, there's... I'll get the message that says, like, one thing is wrong or something's still wrong. Uh -oh. And then I have to figure out if I if I did the rebus interpreted the rebus incorrectly and then i have to go through and i change all the rebuses and then and then it turns out no it was just a typo i had 
that's super that's hard. hard though is a good is it's a good point you bring up though because on the editing side for whatever it's worth that's something that we think about a lot we actually we try not to run these bi-directional rebuses often because we don't want the aha moment to be dampened by the solver right. going well what do i actually write even if i figured yeah. out the trick yeah. you know so but you understand so, it can be headachy sometimes. I, I, one of the things I really liked about this puzzle, and I don't know how you guys felt about it, but I love how much theme material was in here because not only did they have to fill, first they had to fill the um, the double rebuses in. So you had to have excellent theme fill for the theme entries that crossed each other, white and black. And they, I, I would say give them a check for that. They succeeded yeah. there. Um, they ha managed to have in the puzzle, even though it was a split, they have a uh, revealer mm. 32 down, uh, and tw I'm sorry, 28 and 32 down, uh, gray area, and that's synonymous with ambiguity, but it also hints to the four theme squares. And uh, I believe it was Jeff Chen who managed to get Othello in there as an extra little bit of bonus material. Yeah. I also, I, I'm just realizing that the gray area squares are also symmetrically. Yes. That's so what I was going to really point out. Elegant. Very super, elegant. Super, super elegant. We love yeah. that. Wow. We love That's when our beautiful. solvers notice that too. Like the, the <laughs> symmetry, the symmetry of that plus the gray area as the, as the theme revealer also being symmetrical in the middle. That's so nice. God, what a delightful puzzle. It is a puzzle. You hear that, Derek? I have, I, it is, you know what? I thought so too. We have one question, Sam, that maybe you can answer, and then we're going to get back to Rishi. Um, Billy Hall would like to know when it comes to 40 down, how come there is no part in the clue that uh, indicates that it's an abbreviation? Hmm. So that's a, that's a great question. That's because, as far as I know, ANA or ANA is, is how they actually stylize the airline's name. Right. So you would be more likely. The brand, to You'd be more likely to see that than all Nippon Airways, which is the full name of the of the brand. Yeah, exactly. If that like, this is on like the side of the airplane, for instance, you know, we think that should be familiar enough to solvers in its shortened form without having to say an abbreviation in the clue or C O mm. period. But you know, something to think about for sure. Mileage would may you vary. Treat, would you treat scuba the same way? Like scuba wouldn't wouldn't have to be clued as yeah. An abbreviation for something, even though it's an acronym. Right. Exactly. Right. Just because it's so familiar in that form. Also, we try to avoid just something we do on the editing side. We try and avoid those tags when we can. You know, when we think it'll be just a super cleanly worded clue without it. It's not fun to have a buildup of clues that say, for short, informally, e.g. Right. aber, as we say for abbreviations. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this, this one felt like it didn't need it. But you know, something like... Nope. I mean, et cetera, that was a close call. It felt better than just saying and so on without any sort of tag associated with it. Right. 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 And and you have a lot of fans here, Rishi. Uh, Kathy mm -hmm. Odahan would like to you to know that you're a d delightful solver. <laughs> and uh, everybody's having a lot of fun. Judy Patel uh, says hers is right, but it says keep trying. Judy, if you go over it one more time, uh, make sure you don't have any typos in your puzzle. Sometimes, occasionally, people will mean to hit the O and accidentally hit the zero on their keyboards. Uh, if that does not work, please uh, send an email to nytgames at nyt, nytimes.com. nytgames at nytimes.com. That's our customer care, and they can help you. Um, all right, so Rishi, uh, one question for you. It's time for a pop quiz, being that you are the host of uh, the West Wing Weekly podcast. Uh, how do you spell Qaddafi? <laughs> oh, I think this is a question for you. I was thinking, like, when in the pilot episode of the West Wing, for anybody who doesn't know, the yeah. character played by John Spencer, Leo McGarry, who's the chief of staff of the president, he, he the calls the New York Times to complain about how Qaddafi is spelled in the uh in the crossword and i was realizing you would be the people he's calling in that in, in that scene right you'd be oh, on the other end of that yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, he would, 
If he wasn't a fictional character and if John Spencer was still around today, he'd probably be tweeting at, at me in the That's middle right. of the night. <laughs> Deb would either tag me in or yeah. say, hey, please right. write to NYT Games. NYT Games, I didn't do it. <laughs> exactly. That's, that is really my motto. I just the do it. Or, or I'd write to you, Will and Joel, and say, look, guys. <laughs> <you know? laughs> please help. Please yes. Help. Please um anyway did you rishi what are you working on uh right now besides i think west wing weekly is over is that correct it is yeah it ended in january and okay. um I'm, I'm still working on music and podcast stuff uh the two podcasts i'm i'm working on these days are uh song exploder which is a show that i've been doing since 2014 Great. it's about the creative process behind music and um and then a new show that started when the lockdown lockdown started um, I've been making uh, a podcast called Home Cooking Love with that. my friend Kimi Nasrat, who's a, a chef and, and columnist for the New York Times Magazine. Absolutely. So that's a nice uh, connection there. Yeah. Now we, we, we have been having a lot of fun trying to uh, keep each other company and keep our spirits up while answering questions for people who, who are suddenly faced with having to make a lot more meals at home and mm -hmm. over and over again. So have you ever... Reasons. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, we we take listener questions yeah. about, you know, what to what to do with ingredients they've got or trying to solve, you know, a dish that they can't get get right. It's sort of a it's sort of an informal advice um podcast, but it's been really well, fun. Well, I think it's great. I love it. Have you ever I one thing I'm not sure of, have you ever covered anything having to do with fermenting and making fermented foods? Yeah, actually, we talked about some about fermenting. We've talked about it a little bit here and there, but in the episode that came out yesterday, we talked a bunch about um, about pickling. And we talked Perfect. About, um, I have to say, you. I am a real kitchen science geek, and I love stuff like this. So I like I've recently. I mean, I've gotten into you know infusing alcohols and making liqueurs, and recently I've gotten into fermenting, and I'm obsessed now with making sauerkraut and pickles and you know, garlic and honey and things like that. So I'm going to have to give uh, home cooking a listen. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, great. And we have we have a bunch of recipes for, you know, the food ideas that get discussed in every episode are on our website too. That's so what I was going to ask. Yes. Yeah. Where can we find this? <laughs> oh, I it's know at homecooking.show. That's where home you can find the episodes show. and the uh, and those tips and resources. Kathy says song exploder is such a great insight into the creative process. Love it. And uh, Billy Ha would like to know, was Lin-Manuel Miranda ever on the pod? I'm just making the connection now. He's a big fan of the West Wing. Lin <laughs> has not been a formal guest on the pod, but he did pop up. He did pop in when uh, our friend Ryan Johnson, the director, was a guest solver on there. And uh, it, Lynn manuel if you're listening, we would <laughs> love to have you on. Uh, we're huge fans of yours. Hamilton is pretty much on a loop in my house, as is in Heights. And I know you're out there, and I know you solve. So if you would like to be a guest, please tag me on Wordplay and let me know. Um, and Krishna Prasad would like to know, is the podcast Partners going to come back? Oh, thank you so much for asking. Um, that was a limited series that I did um, at the beginning of this year that was about – that's about um, – partnerships creative creative collaborations and uh two people sort of telling the story of their their relationship whether it's a business partnership or or creative collaboration um speaking of hamilton david diggs and his longtime collaborator rafael casal they were they were oh, on there. Um, very i would like it to come back but i don't i don't know when exactly um that will be it was kind of an experiment but i would love to do more it was a really fun project Terrific. Well, How fitting great. the 37 downs in the grid then you got to That's solve. right. Wonderful. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Richard, this is really a nice uh, opportunity to sit down and solve with you. I think this was uh, a great puzzle for us to do together. I hope you had fun. I had so much fun. Thank you so much for inviting me. This is really a dream come true. Come back I, anytime. Please. Come back Seriously. anytime. You're, you're a terrific solver, and it's always better when you solve together, right? Yes. 
So uh, anyway, thank you so much, Rishikesh. Uh, good luck with uh, the podcasts. And uh, we uh, enjoyed, thank you everybody out there for coming to, join, coming to solve with us. Um, we just wanted to wish you a happy Thursday. And uh, this is Deb Amlin, Sam Mazursky, and Rishikesh Herway wishing you a happy Thursday. Uh, take care. We'll see you next week. Have a good one, everybody.